So today we're talking about one of my favorite lenses for filmmaking. That's the Leica 35 millimeter R lens. Let's get into it. Good morning, Victor. <laughs> if you're new to filmmaking, you might be wondering why this lens is such a big deal for filmmakers. Well, let me tell you, it's got a lot of amazing features that make it a great tool to have in your toolkit for any aspiring filmmaker. First up, let's talk about the technical advantages of what this lens really is. Now, this lens has a wide aperture, which means it can let in a lot of light and produce a really nice shallow depth of field. That makes it perfect for capturing really nice bokeh or bokeh, bokeh, however you want to say it. I just, to each his own. Uh, Anyways, as I was saying, it does create a really beautiful bokeh and it helps isolate your subject from the background really nicely. Plus on top of that, it is an incredibly sharp lens so you can really capture the fine details in whatever you're shooting. So I recently shot an ad for a clothing brand that I decided to shoot the entire ad just with this little guy. Yeah, I know, just this. And on top of that, I was also solo filming so you can imagine, there's no autofocus when you throw this onto a camera. This is all manual focus, so I had to pre-plan my shots, pre-plan my focusing, and yes, I had to redo a lot of shoots multiple times, but that's just part of the process. That's what, you know, that's what makes us creative. We have to go through the journey of failure in order to come out on the other side with successes. But in making that ad, I really enjoyed just using this 35 and was really happy that I could open it up all the way to 2.8 because some of the first scenes of that ad are kind of supposed to be in the early morning light, which basically I was going for like dusk or dawn, I guess. Dusk is in the afternoon, dawn is in the morning, right? I'm no weatherman. <laughs> um, right, so I was going through it for a dusk type of lighting and just like waking up early right before the sun rises. So I had all the blackout curtains drawn in and the only light in the scene was one practical uh, light that was on the nightstand, which you'll see in these scenes. But the fact that I could open up to 2.8 and allow as much light as I possibly can really helped out in recreating that scene. But it's not just the technical features that make the Leica 35mm R lens so great. It also has a lot of great creative benefits that can help you achieve the feel and look that you want for your films. It's almost like the lens has this je ne sais quoi, pardon my French, but it, it kind of just makes the films feel a little bit more nostalgic, a little bit dreamier so to speak. When taking a photo with the lens it is very sharp you can get extremely sharp images but when you're shooting and filming with it there's something about it it just like it's not as crisp it's almost as like you're putting a glow filter almost in front of the lens or in post-production it just has like that natural dreamy beauty so to speak I don't know if I can quantify it exactly but it just it's got that oomph that like Yes, that's a that is a film we're watching. That is that is a masterpiece. That is that's the feeling I get when I'm shooting with this lens. I remember we were shooting uh, recently these Wes Anderson style reels that they've been trending a lot, and I was shooting them with my Sony with a 24 to 105 G lens. And the first time I shot it with that lens, it was I mean it came out great. Post production skills made it look a little bit better, but then I decided to try out that same video only with the Leica 35R and man, just, it was like chef's kiss. It just, it caught that Wes Anderson vibe, that nostalgia, that like, that look that I was really going for. It just almost did it naturally. It was beautiful, honestly. You know, when you shoot something and get it right in camera, that is always, always so much more preferred than having to edit and fix and do post-production work and spending hours doing that, rather just get it first time in camera, call it a day. So if you're interested in using the Leica 35mm R lens in your filmmaking, what should you do? Well, first and foremost, take care of your lens. Can't tell you how many times I've seen on eBay some R lenses that just look absolutely atrocious, especially when they show a picture of the, like the aperture blades, which, let me see if I can mimic. I don't know, I might have to do this, uh, I'll do a separate little, I'll do a little b-roll of this, this is not gonna 
translate well. Anyways, I digress. You want to make sure to keep your lens tip top shape, cleaned, adjusted if necessary. Make sure your aperture blades are oiled up. I would say probably try to plan to send your lenses out to get certified, certifiably cleaned certifiably cleaned at least maybe once every six months maybe once a year it really depends on the usage but you definitely want to make sure to keep those aperture blades really nice and oiled and from what i've seen at the leica factory that is not an easy task so i really really don't suggest you do that yourself unless you are a guru of taking apart lenses and putting them back together highly do not recommend that you do that find yourself a professional now another thing you should know is you want to experiment with this lens, really with any lenses and any tools that you have in your film any kit. You know, one thing that I learned when, when I was working at Leica is Leica's always all about opening all the way and opening up your aperture and shooting at the widest aperture you possibly can. That's all great and dandy, but I want to, you know, a little caveat to that is experiment, try different apertures, you know? shut it down all the way, see what type of look that, that gives you, play around with it. You want to make sure that you are testing out your lens in as many different lighting scenarios, outside, inside, maybe perhaps play with different filters. I typically only use ND filters to be honest because the way that I shoot, I don't really incorporate those like different glowy filters or like blue light filters or CPLs or anything like that. I, that's just not my style, uh, so I don't actually use that. But what I do suggest in doing is if you are going to be filming with these R lenses, A, something I did was get a universal mount for all my ND filters. So my ND filters are 82 millimeters. I tend to use the, the Freewell filters, love them, highly suggest. I'll put a link down below. But then I got one of these filter conversion kits where it basically turns my E55 filter thread to an 82. Basically what that will let me do is use all my 82 millimeter filters across all my lenses instead of having to buy a 55 millimeter filter and then a 67 and then a 72 and then a 77 and then next thing you know you have a million different filters that you have to take with you everywhere because you have an individual one for every single one of your lens. Just get one of these step up rings and you're good to go. The other little thing that I'll tell you to experiment with is because this is a manual lens what I ended up doing is getting one of these gear rings and they're not very expensive so I ended up cutting it and just matching it exactly to the diameter of the lens so now I can actually use my follow focus system with this lens without having to pay a fortune to get it actually uh, retrofitted for filmmaking. You can send these lenses out to certain companies and they will actually physically put a gear ring on there that's fully attached and then they will also do some sort of step up ring I believe. I forget off the top of my head what that is called. I know that has a specific name but I am just having a horrible brain fart right now and I cannot think of what that is. But anyways, there are companies that do the conversion completely if you want to spend the money. But if not, you can just purchase one of these little gear rings, uh, put a link down below, and then a step up ring for your ND filter and you're good to go basically. Now, if you are interested in using the Leica 35 millimeter R lens, you're most likely curious about the other focal lengths as well. One thing you want to remember when you're looking to invest in new Leica R lenses is you want to really try to find an, a set of R lenses that are somewhat close in range with the serial number. This is basically because you want to make sure that all your lenses are processing color accurately and that they're all processing the color the same way. So there you have it folks, the Leica 35mm R lens is an incredible tool but that is just one piece of the puzzle. Remember when you are searching for these R lenses, look into the serial numbers, do your due diligence, make sure you get a well working set. And remember the most important thing is to always experiment with your gear and tools so you can create beautiful and unique films. Until next time, Victor Quintana. Thanks for stopping by.